I'm not a failure, I guess. Oh well, at least I'm a Marvel fan now. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. It's your boy, Ryan on the So if you're new to the channel, remember subscribe to all that great stuff. I won't take much time in this, but you know, I want to talk about Godzilla vs. Kong. I know most of y'all seen it, but uh, I'm here to give my own opinion, all right? First of all, I just want to say the movie was trash. Yeah, I said it. What y'all gonna do? Come after me? Hit me with a stick? The movie was T-R-A-S-H, trash. How do I even explain this? Like how, how much disrespect was given to Kong, bro? Like this nigga Godzilla was basically a god. He was overpowered. He beat the hell out of Kong. Kong was begging for his life. Listen, man, I don't know if it's a racial thing, but I'm surprised because the movie was made by white people, you know? I was surprised that, you know, anyways, I don't, I don't want to go in that region. I, I don't know. But I was just surprised on how it all went down, you know. And then at the end of the day, uh, we got Kong coming to save Godzilla. Like, bro, sh just get your ass back to where you, the, the jungle your ass came from. Like, don't even try to save Godzilla or fight in Mecha Godzilla, whatever that shit is. Take your ass back to the jungle and hide like a little baby. Bruh. Even with the axe. This nigga, even with the axe, Kong couldn't even beat Godzilla, even with the axe, bro. And then at the end, you know, uh, the, the, the standoff, Godzilla was like, yeah! Kong was like, Ugh. I'm like, bro, are you gonna, like, he just dropped the weapon, man. Like, what the heck? Bro, they overpowered Godzilla. It's not fair. Like, the disrespect to Kong was great. All right, y'all. So, um, let me talk about the story a little bit. Yeah, the story-wise was trash, all right? I give this story a 0.5 out of 10. Listen, I didn't even understand what the heck was going on. First of all, they were protecting Kong from Godzilla and he was in the wilderness or something and then they were shipping him to somewhere, another location. All of a sudden, they ended up in Hollow Earth and all of a sudden, Godzilla came and shot his beam down to Hollow Earth and then Kong came out of Hollow Earth and then they had a battle and then Mac Godzilla came from nowhere and just started, you know, doing his thing. Bro, how does that make sense? Like, nothing makes sense. This nigga Kong went to uh, a Hall of Earth to find out, you know, his heritage or whatever. Like, bro, that wasn't even necessary. Like, why did he go there? Like, it's bullshit, man. And then the humans, you know, anytime I see any human in this movie, it was just so annoying. I cared less, okay? I cared less for any of the humans. You know, the the, the, the folks who, you know, were, in, you know, in Apex Lab or whatever. Like, dude. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care about you. If I see them, I feel like choking. I'm serious. Because, like, they were trying to, you know, balance, you know, the, the focus on, you know, with the monsters and the humans. But it didn't really work. It didn't work. Just focus on the monsters, man. Ain't nobody give a damn about no damn humans. Come on now. And then the way, you know, they saved uh, the day, the humans, you know, those geeks in uh, Apex, was a coffee. You spill a coffee on the computer, and then boom, Mega Godzilla is out. Jesus Christ, bro. Jesus. Yo, I paid for that movie, man. I paid to see that movie because I was thinking it's going to be awesome. They, they tricked us with the trailer, man. Now, I ain't going to lie. The fight is good. I'm not going to deny that the fight is not good. The fight and the CG, all that was good. But again, you have a trash story. So, yeah, that overwhelms you know, the good stuff, all right? I'll I just say it overwhelms the good stuff. But, bro, I was disappointed, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I I will never watch Godzilla and Kong again. If I want to watch those movies, I watch them separately. And people talking about, oh, you're gonna expand the mon monsterverse. Like, Nick, don't even do that. You already dis disrespected uh, Kong. This nigga, Kong, at the end, was acting film. Yeah, Kong is a is an actor now. He's a movie star. Like, this nigga is a movie star. I'm like, bro, why disrespect Kong like this, man? Even Godzilla, they didn't disrespect him. They did not disrespect Godzilla like one bit. Like, Kong tried, bro. Kong tried, tried everything. Godzilla was just too powerful. Like, bro, what the heck? You guys, you guys gotta understand, Kong, uh, Kong is like humans, right? Like, he stands like this. Godzilla is like this, you know? And be like, eh, he only has his mouth. But still, Kong couldn't beat this guy. People talking about, oh, yeah, bro, Godzilla got powers and shit. Like, shut up, man. 
Ain't no Godzilla got powers, man. Even so, like, Kong is, like, he can use his arms. He can use his legs. <sighs> I'm not pissed because I don't care about the MonsterVerse. You know what I mean? Listen, man, I'm just saying, man. I think, I think DC or whatever, HBO Max, they trying their best, all right? They trying their best to appeal to us, the fans. But it ain't working. So, you know what? I think I'm switching to Marvel, man. I think I'm done with the HBO Max. I'm done. Look, listen. If I see Mortal Kombat and it's literally trash, I'm done. Like, don't talk to me about no damn Suicide Squad. I'm out. I'm out. Bring me Kevin Foggy in the DC. Then I'll come back. How about that? Anyways, I'm out, man. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. What you, what, let me know in the comments what you guys think about this Godzilla vs. Kong, whatever movie I just watched. Yeah. Uh, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm going to see you guys next time. Take it easy. And man.